Okay, just a few minutes late. Hey guys, how is everyone? Happy Friday. Welcome to another Friday Night Watch Talk special edition here. We got Sam and Wolfie with us today. Going to be giving away a G-Shock. So if you're here, stick around. We'll probably give it away like around the 950 mark. A G-Shock, I'll pull it out. It's one of the NASA G-Shocks. Really cool looking G-Shock square. And, uh, and you know, I've never... Uh, I'm using this tool from uh, StreamYard to do the uh, picker, and I'll, and I'll discuss what you need to do. But we'll first, um, after we do the intros, we'll do a quick little giveaway first to test it out. And I got five uh, NATOs here. I think they're the 20 millimeter and, um, and 22 millimeter. Look, my daughter picked out the colors, okay? So, like, if you don't. You know, they're brown and green. If you don't like the colors when you win, you know, you know, your beef is not with me. It's with a four-year-old. So, you know, you know, do you want to have a beef with a four-year-old? You know? All right. Anyway, you're going to lose. I, I lose all the time. Anyway, <laughs> Wolfie, good to see you. You're back in North America. How are you, my friend? Good, good. All yeah. good. Enjoying the Vegas summertime. Oh, yeah. So you've been here for what, like a week now? About a week, a little more than a week. And then, uh, what are you going to be for a couple more weeks or months? Or... Yeah, about what's today? Friday, two more weeks. Two more weeks? Oh, not bad. I've had a little quick little month getaway uh, yeah. f uh, from from Austria. Um, but how hot is it, man? It, it's really hot over there, isn't it, dude? No, really... not uh, this huh? week was very pleasant, like 105 ish. You know? <laughs> no, it's dry. You know, it's really it's nothing. It, it, yeah, totally, totally fine. Next yeah. week, we're looking at 115 by the end of next yeah. week. Yeah, so that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, hey, what do you got on uh, on wrist today? The Pelly LHD. Ooh, nice, nice. Mm, first time on the rubber since right. Mike put his on the rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like it on the rubber? Uh, I like the look mm. a lot more than on the bracelet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not the best quality rubber, you know, it's not. It's, it's so it's fine, but it's not yeah. super comfortable like some of the others. But I, I'm probably gonna keep it on it. I like the look better. Yeah, excellent. I'm I'm way into the divers on the rubber these days. Uh, so yeah. um, I, I feel I like it. Uh, hey, Sam, good to see you, bud. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, tough to be back. Uh, yeah, let me let me work. I think your volume is a little low. Let me see if I can fix that for you. Um, oh no, you're all the way up. Okay. Anyway. Um, Maybe I'll turn up my gain. Yeah, yeah, you're you're a bit better. Yeah, it's better now. Um, so uh, we're gonna get into your trip to Japan. And you did some watch shopping in Japan, and uh, and I want to get that that experience out. And 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 you visit. I think you visited Seiko or some Seiko stuff, and I want I want to hear that as well. But um, we got a couple things a couple things on the agenda first. Hey, what do you have on rest? Um, I had to swap quickly because I was wearing one of the ones that I bought in Japan. So uh, rather spoil the surprise, so I'm wearing the uh, the Metal Square G-Shock. It's not an Ali Ali Express special. It's the actual, it's, actual yeah. metal. The, the legit, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I love those. I had the the Bling Master, right? The gold one uh, for a little yeah. while. Um, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah, I did this. Uh, this is a, a swap with uh, Dave at Scottish Watches. So, mm. oh, nice, nice. So, so got a little little pedigree there. Hey, I'm uh, speaking of G Shocks. I got my my G still. I can't. I just keep wearing this. I keep reaching for this on wrist. So you know, it's just a a lot of fun. And we are joined by one more person. Hey, Dib, what is up? How are you, buddy? Doing good. How How about you guys? Good. Oh. It looks like you you saw a ghost. What's you okay? Yeah. Looks like the hair grew like tripled in two months. Yeah. I mean, in two days. What do you mean two days? Well, I mean, been... like there's a lot here. There was usually not that much volume, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get a haircut soon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what do you have on wrist today, Deb? Uh, I I have my hundred piece limited Snowflake forty four GS Omiya edition SBGA four eighty three. That's the one you got straight from Japan, right? Yep. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, let's we're gonna say hello to the chat, and then we're gonna jump into that first giveaway, the little tester giveaway. Uh, Wolfgang, you're here. Uh, time, Steve Hill. What's going on? How are you? Uh, Bruno is here. How you doing, Bruno? Uh, Bobby, watch medicine. How are you? 
He says, hello, Sam. Um, Mez Nine is here. Nine-ish. Hey, fellas. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I mean, the kids, it's summertime. They're going to bed a little bit later, and it's just, you know, it is what it is. Hey, Colin is here. What's going on? Uh, boo, boo e and Legs and crew. Uh, Canadian Watch Monkey, what's up? Good to see you. Um, yeah, Bobby likes it. Okay, thank you. Um, I thought I thought you were just doing a little take on Dib's little um, saying, uh, yes, his tin, Indian Tinder saying, uh, yes, last night. Um, uh, the British Austrian, you know, the, the I forget it. Uh, NJ collab <laughs> stream is a rarity. Uh, it, it totally is. Uh, hey, Wayben's here. Hey, Scott is here. What's going on? Uh, I hope you're feeling better, Scott. Um, James Duffy, what is up? Philon, what's hey? How are you doing? I hope I said that correctly. Um, Jim is here. Uh, how you doing, Jim? Um, Kevin S is here. Symphony for the bezel. What is up? Good to see you. Justin is strapped in, of course, as always. James Monroe. Uh, James Moore. James Moore uh, is here. Sorry. Uh, David Trump is here. And Adil, what's going on? Good to see everybody. Okay. So before we jump into uh, whatever topics we're going to be discussing, um, I, uh, I have this giveaway here. And uh, this is how we're going to do it. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to share my screen. And um, and we're gonna go this this we got a giveaway tool here. Let's let's rearrange everybody here, uh, so we can get a better. Okay, so um, giving away five NATO straps here, and so the way I do it is I choose the broadcast, which is today, and then I create a hashtag, right? And so once I create this hashtag, all you guys have to do who are watching is type the hashtag. Um, and whatever words I choose afterwards into the chat. And then that's how it works. So let's go. Uh, we're going to do um, hashtag NATO. Uh, let's just do lowercase. Uh, NATO um, one. We're just going to do NATO one. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start. Um, uh, okay. Any user tooled a tool to run away? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any user with the comments? Uh, start collecting comments. So I'm gonna start collecting comments. Um, so all you guys need to do is just type in hashtag Steve. Uh, you want to do hashtag NATO uh, one there, and then we're gonna collect the comments. So keep on entering that, and the winner. Uh, I'm gonna draw it, and the winner. You guys will have to contact me. Um, via uh, Instagram, right? I mean, my Instagram handle is in the description and you can reach out to me there. I, I believe it is. Anyway, if it's not, I'll, I'll put it in and uh, and then we'll take it from there. Meanwhile, while everybody's putting their hashtags in, Wolfie, um, so let's get the your visit to Omega out of the way. You've seen the new Omega. I know Dib has seen them. You've seen them in person, uh, Wolfie. What was your take uh, on the new releases, and do you have a favorite? Uh, I've seen all of them except the Pro Prof. Hmm. And my favorite, hmm, it's uh, either the Ultra Deep or the World Timer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those two. One of those two. What did, what did you think about those dials? Ah, uh, I I really like them all. I mean, the one is way too small. The uh, the Aquaterra. Yeah, sure, sure. The thirty. And the Planet Ocean is yeah for me. It's too small, but I really like them all. They're all great looking watches, especially for summer. Yeah. Color is very summerish. Yeah. I you know I don't know if I would wear them that much in an Austrian winter, but right, especially for summer. Great, great watches, all of them. Uh, you don't think when if you're traversing a, a glacier in Austria, that well, that blue, on a glacier uh... where I never go, you know, you <laughs> could probably do it. But I mean, I mean, Wolfie going on a glacier is like uh, it's like dreaming. He he, he walks up, he, he gets out of his house, he walks up to the newsstand, gets yeah. his newspaper, comes back home smokes a cigar 
eats and goes to sleep. It's more, yeah. more likely First of all, than me going on a glacier, that's true. Yeah, and and and, and look, I mean, and Wolfie doesn't go to the newsstand. The newsstand comes to Wolfie. Let's let's be yeah, honest. The newsstand is uh, on the iPad now. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. Bobby's saying, "What's the ideal Austrian winter watch?" Something dark and gloomy. <laughs> well, I mean, it, you know, like it's all nonsense, of course. But I don't like to wear white rubber straps in the winter. It kind of feels yeah. stupid, right? Well, what? Any more, you know, like maybe nothing too colorful, you know, not not too bright of color. Like the but the ultra deep in orange is not really that good of a winter watch. Yeah. So almost everything I have, except a few, yeah, is fine. Oh, the first part, like you're some great explorer, Deb. Wait a second, has the love affair ended? <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Wow. No, no, the love affair will definitely rekindle soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Zen, you, you don't have any Zins, do you, Wolfie? No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, almost everything works. I, I think I think I have the perfect watch for you. A watch which nobody looks at is very dreary, has no charisma, has no charm. <laughs> Uh, let's say a bomb and Marcier Classima. There you have it. Oh, Sam, I, I, Sam, I what should, do you think is a good, yeah. a good, a good winter watch in, in an Austrian winter? What, what would you wear? What, what first comes to mind? <laughs> I'm oh. putting you on the spot. I know. <laughs> yeah, like a, so, I don't know. I, so I think tough. like Ice Harden, don't I? Like Zin or uh, Damasco or something like that, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah, or G Shock. Well, well, when one of these like um, you know Seiko ice divers, you know what I mean? Like those. Oh yeah, the Mont Blanc. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think I think that'd be a good one, right? Um, I'm glad uh, James is saying. I'm glad they didn't do a 43 uh, and a half uh, uh, Planet Ocean in Summer Blue with white indices in hand. Would have been too tempted. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of with James there, that would have been very tempting, especially yeah. if it came on a good strap. Yeah. Except, you know, besides the bracelet, that would have been. Hmm. Sam, what, what was your what's your what was your take on those watches? Did you, did you get a chance to see any of them? Or yeah, the I was really, you know, I've got a thing about the date, and I was hoping that they put the date on the Proplof because the original one had the date, and yeah. they've kind of gone back to a more. Isn't this? I haven't looked into it a lot, but didn't they reduce the size slightly of the Proplof, make it but more wearable or? Did I just misread that? No, no, I think they did, didn't they? Uh, Wolfie and Deb, didn't a they reduce it? A little bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, like I said, I haven't seen it, you know, so I yeah, don't yeah. know if it's noticeable in the metal. Gotcha. But on paper, it's a little smaller. Yeah, because I, I love the look of it. I, I honestly yeah. look, I mean, it's it was in it at 14 grand or something, though. Yeah. Quite, quite the eye opener, yeah. I think. Yeah. Very, very much so. Well, I mean, like all the prices across the board, I think, from Omega with their with their hikes and, and their other models, it's kind of like it's kind of ouch, ouch. Omega is really, um, I mean, like you know, a new Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich, eight thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a that's a big price tag, right? Yeah, I always think it's interesting, isn't it? Because it happens a lot with military watches, don't they? Where they clock up the price and say, "Well, it's famous because it went to to space," but NASA yeah. never would have paid eight thousand dollars for it <laughs> at the time, would they? No, like the um, guy from Mythbusters that's famous for wearing the planet, uh, planet Ocean, would he have bought it for forty grand? Not for that big grand all over, all over the place, doesn't he? So, yeah. and a lot of the military watches are expensive. Like no military would spend, you know, many right. thousands of dollars on these. Uh, uh, just to know, my, mine is for sale at a cool 7500 Uh Detroit Spartan, the prices are a little ridiculous, but it's still probably, uh, I still probably buy one. Okay. Hey, let's, um, oh, Canadian Watch Monkey, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Please pull up the Kripus Mega Matic. We'll do, just let me run this um, giveaway here. Let's get this going and see how this works out. We're going to draw, and the winner is... Yeah. yeah, slow, 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 slow. Jim, all right, congratulations, Jim. You win, 
you win a five pack of NATOs. So please get in touch with me. My contact information should be, I think I, I think it should, it should be in the description. If not, I will update it. You can get in touch with me via Instagram or I'll put my email address in there. Uh, but congratulations. Uh, great job, Jim. Yep, there you go. And remember, just everyone stick around. We'll be giving away G-Shock uh, at the end of the show. Um, so let's get rid of this screen. What do you say, guys? Um, and go back to our regular format. There we go. Um, sure. Okay. Uh, let, let, let's look up the uh, Crepus Megamatic. Um, never heard of this one. Have you guys heard of this one before? Don't care. No, it'll be huge, won't it, if it's a Crepus? I, I'm sorry? I say it'll be, it'll be large, won't it, if it's a Crepus? They're quite, they're yeah. quite big, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, I, I'll get it up here. Uh, Dib, uh, love to hear your take, man. I, I have a feeling that this is going to be a really good one. Really don't good take care there. that it exists. Like, good for it? I don't care. I'm not buying that. I'm not touching that. I'm not even yeah. going 15 feet, you know, close to it. So I'm like, Right. Okay. And and for me, that 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 watch is around twenty five hundred US. I buy it. I buy a Doxa over that. Doxa okay. is what I would buy over this. So, I don't know a lot about it, but to be honest, um, that's but... a pretty uh, wild um, minute hand, there, isn't there? Yeah, that's yeah. that's off that other brand that Doxa own, isn't it? I forget the name. Or is it Squale that own a brand that has those that Synchron. Those like that? Synchron. The Synchron. No, I'm thinking yeah. of. Um, I think it'll come to me. There's another brand that they've taken. They've ripped those hands off. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, um, it's different. I mean, I just, you know, I, I've never heard of them. I don't know anything about Crepus, um, Canadian Watch Monkey. Uh, I don't know if this is is this a, a, one of these brands that had that was Sunset and now or just like yeah, a Phoenix been, brand. They've been out for a long time. They're like a small boutique watch brand. They make some like outlandish designs. They, the only one that they have that's a reasonable size is they've done one that's very, very similar to the Hoya, the Hoya Diver. Um, you remember that like iconic yeah. shape that also looked like this sea quartz that was from Magnum PI. So they have like a normal size one. They actually just did a Kickstarter recently, but usually they're huge. They've even done one that has the like the canteen. Uh, you know the, the the screw canteen lid over okay. over yeah. one of the things. So they do like Russian, like Russian pseudo Russian military inspired ones that look a bit like steampunk watches. Okay. So uh, yeah, they're, they're they're well known. They've been around for a long for a while. Yeah, like, I think they're French. Up oh, based in Spain, is he saying? Um, possibly. Yeah, yeah, be, they probably are. Yeah. Um, see, they're always sold out as well. Like most of the, if you go on the collections, you'll see a lot of them are sold out. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, um, definitely uh, never seen this one before. And thanks for bringing up uh, Canadian Watch Monkey. I uh, definitely learned something new. Um, okay, so, you know, um, we got Sam here. And Sam went and took a trip to to Japan. And it wasn't just like a watch trip. Okay, let's just like, you know, let, you know, let's not, let's, it was a, you went with your wife, right? It was a, it was a, it was a vacation. Um, but you did do some cool, fun watch stuff because you know, I've seen some pictures, right? Where, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, some, we chat sometimes and, uh, and I've seen the pictures and, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Tell us about going to the Mecca of Seiko. Yeah, yeah, I can actually. Do you want me to pull up some photos, or is that a absolutely? Bit yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, let yeah, me, yeah, let me, let me add some, add, add, add a little some photos in here, so I can at least sort of show and tell. I promise that most of it, it most of the photos are the Seiko Museum, but I've got a few to set the scene. So we we we, we travelled around essentially. We went to Tokyo, then we went to Kyoto, we went to Osaka, Yokohama, and up into the a bit of the mountains, which was called a place called Odawa. Uh, so we got to see the city, uh, old Japan in Kyoto, and then some of the countryside as well. So <clears throat> this was, I'll just set the scene here. This was uh, one of the temples in, in Tokyo. Uh, there was a, some cool cars there. This I, I love, this is a mini Clubman, one of my favorite cars. So I spotted this outside of a British shop. Um, uh, this was some of the back streets in Tokyo. Uh, this is what I just think of as when you see these sort of films like Blade Runner and things like that. So these were... <laughs> This was a small street and each one of these doors was a bar. And in the bar, there was only between four and six seats. 
<laughs> so they were literally like tiny bars or some was above. So uh, there's, there's another picture. Uh, this is Kyoto. So it had these, they call them castles there, but these are the old um, like shoguns houses that they lived in. Um, and they're from the, like, the 15th century, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there's a lot of history there. And then th this was who we went with. So obviously me and then oh, my nice. wife next to me and then Jen and Josiah. So this was in, in a small ramen bar. And that was essentially almost the size of it. There was a couple of tables to the side, but it was, uh, that's what, so we were eating ramen a lot. And then this is uh, Osaka, um, which was, Osaka was, uh, we, we were going because it was sort of that Neo, Neo Japan type of thing. But unbelievably, it had, loads of watch shops and the, it, these watch shops had a, any every rare watch that you can think of there was one that had um they wouldn't let me take photos inside so i'm having, having to explain it but there was one that had 12 daytoners and what only one i had ever seen before and that was the the green and gold the rest i hadn't even seen pictures of them before oh, wow. um they had uh i saw like an original iwc ingenieur and it was just incredible, like the the watches that they had there, and you could just go. They were all real as well. They were all, um, you know, all real. And uh, there's a Lancia Delta as well. So there's a bit of car spotting. Um, and then this was a final photo of um, of uh, Kyoto. But yeah, we went to the went to the Seiko Museum, uh, and we went, and it was shut. So. <laughs> Oh, we, yeah exactly so we had to come back the next day i had obviously i hadn't done my due diligence and worked out that it was shot on a monday so that's uh that's my wife and i outside the front and then i went back and we were too early so <laughs> it was shot again <laughs> but uh but we but I hung in there so this is in ginza which is in tokyo and this is actually only a short walk from tokyo which is the tokyo station which is the, the main the main uh, train station in tokyo so a very short walk so there's me had a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, had some of those uh, Seiko LCD clocks on display. And then some of the original pocket watches because the original factory was in Ginza. And uh, they actually had a huge fire um, uh, that destroyed the original factory. And then they rebuilt it in Ginza. But um, So there's a couple of the pocket watches that they originally did. There's the original watch they did, the, wow. the L'Oreal. And they actually had a four of these in there. So there was there was a L'Oreal on each one. So if any any Se Se uh, Seiko fans know, that was the original the original watch that the wrist watch that they made. Um the original set of uh, Grand Seikos they had there, all the ones. Uh, and this one on the end, this will become a bit more clear in a second. Um and then they had the clocks that they made as well, which was pretty cool. They had a lot of Disney clocks here. You can see the the po uh, the Pokemon clocks. Uh, and the Ultraman clock. So, so Omega wasn't the first one to do an Ultraman clock or watch. Uh, and then th 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 uh, this isn't. There's not hundreds of photos. This is the last couple. But these were some of the interesting uh, LCD watches that they did. So this watch on the end was actually the entire screen was on the bracelet, which was pretty oh, cool. cool. Um, then they had the TV watch there as well, which is cool. So from Octopussy. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do a, a rev I'm gonna do a video on all of this because I took a lot, a lot of video footage as well. These are just the quick photos that we took, um, and then they had uh, a couple of these crazy dire ones, and then they had the a lot of the six one three nine chronographs in like mint condition. Wow. These were all in a display. These like unworn. It was incredible. So yeah, real, 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 really cool. And if anybody's in that, that's the end of them. But if anybody's in Ginza. Uh, highly highly recommend that you go to the the seiko museum um so uh, real real fun that it's also next to seiko's headquarters and you can actually go in and they've got a musical clock there which is pretty cool um but what was weird what i found was weird was that well first of all i'll, I'll pause is there any questions about the museum did anyone have anything that came up that wanted to ask me so, so it kind of just looked like I don't know. You know what I I was thinking of something like more standalone, like a building. Do you know what I mean? It, it looked like it was part of like just a, it looked like a street like in Manhattan, right? And, it was. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so it was. It was like that. It was three. It was five floors, okay. and but you could only navigate the floors by a lift. Um, there wasn't any stairs in there, which was which was pretty interesting. So, so. 
but it, but it also feels like it was a little nondescript on the outside, right? I mean, I I, I know that they had the sign and and then the the, the whatever the the aluminum the the steel door uh, whatever it is yeah. gate yeah shuts us, um yeah. but man it feels like you could just like you almost could walk right past it if you didn't know what you were looking yeah, for which is strange to me because I feel like Seiko is like a national tra- I mean like, maybe I mean, maybe I just had this percept weird perception as America but I feel like it, it it's like a it would be like a like a national treasure right well, I mean, we, yeah it, it, I mean it is very much so it's it's funny because that is that is one museum I didn't get a good picture of the entire street but next to it was a purely Seiko boutique that had that was on five different levels and it had oh. like prospe- uh, prospects on the bottom oh, and then like okay. prestige and, and so on That's and cool. then on the end of the street was a what uh, was a store that had they wouldn't let me take photos inside. I took one sneaky one, but essentially it was like a huge, huge boutique that had all like Creedor in there. The ground floor was like Creedor, Grand Seiko and a few prospects. And then you went upstairs and they actually had a Grand Seiko museum up there that had a lot of the original watches, some of the photographs, oh. some of the explanation. But you were completely banned from taking photos. It was it was it was maddening because arguably that I thought was slightly better focused on grand seiko than the seiko museum was yeah huh. um, but but all of the what was weird was that i was expecting to get a deal on a seiko but they, <laughs> they were all more expensive than what we pay in the u.s and um, so wow. even converting the yen and we we there was a, a bizarrely we were just walking past um we were we were walking to one of the one of the parks and i found a zin boutique and I, it was amazing because it was just literally a doorway with Zinn. And I'm like, oh, that's weird, isn't it? I wonder if I wonder if it's not Zinn, the watch company. Yeah. But I went downstairs and it was all the Zinn, Zinn watches or every single model in a thing. And I was like, they were like, oh, welcome to the Zinn boutique. And I was like, how, how, how is this a Zinn boutique in the middle of Japan? I said, because yeah. you can't even. And they're like, oh, yeah, we, oh, we know about America because you guys can only get it through watch buys, can't you? And we're like, yeah. And he's, they're uh. like, yeah, we have it. We have a lot of Americans coming in here tr- trying to buy Zin watches because they just say it's excruciating trying to get Zin and tr- trying to buy it. So I was like, "Oh, this is good." They had a lot of Zin swag as well, like bags and and yeah. uh, you know water bottles and stuff like that. And so I started to try them on, and then I, and then it was I had a little yen converter started working it out. They were way over what we would pay, like. Hundreds oh, more than what they are. What they are in the the US. Uh, I tried on the Zin huh. One Hundred Five, the GMT, and I worked out it was at least eight hundred dollars more than what we would pay through uh, watch buys. Um, that is wild. that is that is wild because when yeah. So what's the deal with like uh <laughs> nice? So what's what's you know you have Sakura right and and they convert and it's way cheaper yeah to buy for Sakura. You don't see that kind of conversion going on with like Japan Select and some of the other uh, Japanese websites, but I but I wonder what's going on. Like you know, so so you pay, you don't get any kind of like break. Now, was it because you were at like the official boutique, like museum boutique? So. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. So I bought a, a, a one of the watches I bought. I wanted to get like a a Japan only one, a JDM one, but uh, I ended up buying a G Shock. So they're like, you know, G Shock has like a Save the Ocean type of yeah. thing called Love yeah. the Sea and Earth. So I managed to get a JDM one of them. And then I went to a few, there were some cool places where you went into the basement and it was all used watches. So that's where I bought my second watch, which <laughs> um, might actually be the grandfather to Dib's watch that he's wearing, um, which was a, a, a six, uh, it's a 6146 8000. It's a Grand Seiko high beat 1969. And it's like in almost immaculate condition. This isn't the original bracelet with it, but it works flawlessly. So those are the two wow. watches I'm getting. And a lot of the Rolexes, the pre-owned Rolexes, were a lot cheaper than they were in the US. So I oh. couldn't really work out. Um, the prices were were quite interesting. So you could get like a date just for like nine thousand, almost retail but pre-owned. Right. Which was interesting. Which was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, KR Joy saying hello. Uh, I'm in. Uh, Dib looks like a little bit like Paul McCartney tonight. Yeah, I agree. I, I do. I do see it. I do see it. Um, uh, Deb, Dib looks like a celebrity all the time. Ah, uh, there's the love. There's the love coming back from Detroit Spartan. 
Um, I, Kevin says, I need to go to Tokyo and buy a U50, but apparently not, right? I mean, it's it's probably way more expensive. But, you know, it's interesting because you do see, like, you know, on, on some of the Japanese retailers on eBay, like, the prices are, well, I mean, I, I, I feel like, and, and maybe, Dib, I think you know a little bit something about this, like, the Japanese, uh, they, they don't like buying used, right? So, um, uh, and, and I think I heard Dib say that. Um, so, like, when you see them on eBay, like, the, the prices are, you know, I feel like they're significantly less than... than I, I, think they, I think they have to pay a local Japanese state tax, like, 10 15%, like, VAT. So, yes, that's, so that kind of makes cool. it more expensive in, yeah. in the Japanese mainland. Yeah, so Wei Ben's saying that, you know he presumes it includes that ten percent tax. Yeah, but you get it off if you flash it. Uh, yeah, it, it, that's a great point. But if you have your passport with you, they'll they'll give you ten percent off like there and then. So even oh. with even with the ten percent off, the zins were were Still. a lot more expensive. Yeah, wow. yeah so I'm not quite sure. Same with the same with all of the Seikos. They were obviously at retail, but a lot of them I worked out that were more than what even we would pay. And I know we have to add tax on, so it probably came out in the wash but there wasn't there wasn't a deal on even being at the sick the, next to the seiko museum they weren't anywhere. oh well that's a that's a little bit of a well i mean it is what it is i mean like but uh that that was a little bit of a bummer i thought you, you might be able to at least see like i mean you probably saw some some jdms that that you you don't typically see here in the states With anyway, all the, right? the credos as well i mean hundreds of them i didn't realize there was that many models um wow. there must have been 60 just women's uh, ladies models of credo uh, and then or credo and then they had all of the like the super high-end ones that they do um it was amazing to see them actually all there hey rob Mount mountain center time is here how you doing uh awesome awesome uh dib only buys uh seiko at 20 percent off that that yeah, is true <laughs> Yeah, as 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 well you should as you should. Hey, do you guys? Um, oh, so yeah, I mean, like anything else, uh, Sam? That you notice any cool cars? I know, um, I know you you like your cars. Yeah, yeah, that. Um, I mean, that Lancia Delta was the highlight for me. That Integrale that they had because they're, they're quite rare, rare yeah. to see, and it was just on a back street in Kyoto. And um, but there, then we went we went more into the mountains. I tell you one that I really like the look of, which you can't get in the US, is the Suzuki Jimmy, which is like a small Jeep. Uh, they were Didn't everywhere. They that? Wasn't really that in cool. the states though? Years, years, yeah, years one ago? time. Yeah, t uh, the, t uh, 2010 yeah. that Suzuki left the US, so you could okay. you can get a Jimmy. But now they look really cool. They look like a tiny sort of cross between a Jeep and like a mini G wagon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there, there was a yeah. So it was it was a lot of cool things. It's I could I'll do some videos on my channel as well. I don't want to I won't bore everyone here, but I, I would highly recommend it if anybody's thinking even thinking of going to japan or tokyo you know tokyo traveling around I, I can't recommend it enough it was it was it was awesome so yeah kevin um, um sam i mean uh, sam bought a couple of watches including a, a vintage grand seiko yeah and uh, a couple of casios um justin did you make a pilgrimage to lake sua <laughs> uh for sam no okay uh mm -hmm. craziest watch or non-watch thing sam saw in japan um craziest craziest watches were probably the the credos they're like super expensive ones yeah. but they they've got this there's this um they have these cat cafes where you can go in and like stroke cats and stuff but they've for some reason it's caught on and now they've got everything like there's an otter cafe uh, there was one like these like rare like foxes a fox cafe hedgehog cafes micro pig cafes wait, wait, uh, so that, wait, wait, what what so hold on a second so they have like hedgehogs like hanging around in the cafe and you just like, yeah. pet them while you drink your coffee while you're yeah, latte yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, oh i guess you wouldn't you'd probably have to just rub their bellies wouldn't you i don't know if you could pet <laughs> they, they, they might be a bit they're a bit crunchy on the outside but um yeah it was it was it was it was wild and, and osaka, osaka is really like if you're really into like anime and stuff like that, which we aren't, so we didn't know what yeah. a lot of the stuff was. But Osaka's the the anime with you know all the all the um the the crane machines and all of that was yeah. uh, amazing. But again, just incredible watch watch shopping. I actually mm. went to a place where um was recommended from 
uh, worn wound, which was supposed to be the watchmaker, but it, it wasn't. Um, but some of the gra used Grand Seikos were cheaper in these other stores as well. I passed up a great deal on a used Grand Seiko, and I'm kicking myself now. It was the Quartz, G uh, Quartz GMT that was like yeah. 1700 US, and I can't find one on Chrono less than two. Right. So, uh, Grand Seiko jokes coming. Uh, what micro season was it, uh, Sam? <laughs> it was uh, supposed to be the rainy season, but it was the humid season. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Design Atelier. Uh, Jason is here. Good to see you. Um, um, I'm going, as a concert, I'm going to open a dib at a cafe. <laughs> we'll make millions. I don't know. Dib, uh, well, a shirtless dib, maybe. Uh, maybe that will work. Uh, yeah, it's Trace Barn. Sign me up. Um, okay, excellent. Um, hey, do you guys want to talk about some uh, some new releases? Let's see if there are some new releases. What do you guys say? Um, let's share. Well, th thanks for the report, Sam. It was awesome. Um, so cool. I don't know if I'll ever make it to Japan. Not just uh, not that I don't want to go. But it's just like I just you know it's just so far away. You know, I mean, like I don't know if it'll ever happen uh, for me, but. Um, Hopefully one day. I, I wouldn't love to go see Japan. Um, Wolfie, anything anything here that any new release that caught your eye recently? Dib, anything? Anything that you wanna wanna talk about? Anything you see here? I mean, there's a Garrick regulator, um, uh, but that seems to be something that has been out before. Um, kind of cool, right? A little bit different, right? Uh, what, what do you think, Wolfie? Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw it today. Eh. Yeah. Eh. I don't know. I, I kind of dig I it. Think. I mean, I don't like regulators in general. So, and that yeah. one, yeah, it's weird. Doesn't do anything for you. No. It's, it's only, it's, it's, club, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, look at that price. I mean, it's like, well, like maybe like 13, 14 grand US. Uh, it's not too bad. For fans of the brand, I guess. Yeah, I mean, but a, a, a nifty way to get into. Um, did I say nifty? Um, uh, an interesting way, or, or a cheap way, or, or affordable way to get into a, a regulator. Now, um, let's see here. I, yeah. I think Alexander Shurokov uh, has a few regulators which are below two grand. So, oh, okay, regulator. Um, I, I think those are the ways to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Hey, Dib, I know you like this one, right? I I like it. I like it. But given how it's being uh, advertised by almost everybody, kind of makes me suspect. You know, like, why is huh. almost every watch publication magazine pushing it so hard uh, like that, that 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 kind of gives me a little pause i like yeah. the watch you know again am i paying what was it 20 grand for a louis vuitton no <laughs> never probably yeah. i won't buy one even but i can appreciate this watch from a distance uh the movement looks pretty good uh i i and again i'm i'm, I'm not the biggest person like I, i'm not i'm not somebody who can really differentiate like high levels of finish but looks to me you know it, it looks well made will it have a market only time will tell can it turn into our mess uh you know like how our mess has kind of turned itself into the watchmaking space yep i hope so so that there's more competition but it, it's still a pretty avant-garde design you know mm -hmm. uh, very thin, if I remember correctly, it's like 8.8 .8 millimeters. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to pull positives, you know. I, I, I hear you. I hear you, Deb. I, uh, I put you on the spot. I know I did. I did it on purpose because I know. No, but I mean, again, it's, it's not a bad watch per se, but given where, given where the price point is, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's like the new, you know, new, new kid on the block. And, you know, like you have all the established heavyweights. And how do you differentiate yourself a micro router? Right. I don't know. I don't have a lot of words for it, and that's not good. So, Sam, yeah. Bob, Bobby's asking, how was the travel from Florida to Japan? As bad yeah. as I'm imagining? 
Uh, I'm glad you read that. I'll just type it out in response. We actually went Air Canada. So we went, uh, it was two and a half hours to Toronto. And then we did uh, the 13 hours to Tokyo. There's two airports in Tokyo, one Tokyo Narita, which is another then an hour into Tokyo. So it's a, it's a long day. We we, uh, we did the cheeky bid at the end to get the business class. You know, sometimes I'll say, oh, you know, put in a thing. So luckily we got managed to get the lay flats on the way back. But yeah, and it's a 13 hour difference to Florida, you know, time wise. So mm-hmm. it, does, it does mess you up a little bit. But yeah, it is a long flight or flights. Dib, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Dib, what about this one? I think this is a watch which made some people very angry, some people glad that it exists. Uh, I pre-ordered one. Oh, uh, so I scheduled? Or scheduled? Yeah, I mean th- this is a watch. I I think. Well, it's not gonna keep. It's not gonna hold value. The, let me get that get that out. Get that out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a watch which is faithful in recreation to the original 62 mask. Like the dimensions are almost exactly the same. Uh, modern materials has a 6L37 movement, not to be confused with the shit bag 6R35s. Oof. It's a 4S, it's derived from a 4S15 Creedor base movement, which is similar in architecture to our ETA 2892. Uh, now, 6L35 was um, upgraded, essentially newer parts, shock protection, and the likes. So it's now at 6L37, makes for a pretty thin watch. Problem is the price for most people because it's priced at 3500 US dollars plus tax. So it's right in the Black Bay 54 slash 58 territory. Mm-hmm. Objectively, I'd say the Tudors are better watches than the Seiko. But to me, the Tudors are too clinical. They lack charm. Mm. I, I like the Seikos because they have a little bit of charm. Be- well, more charm than the Tudors. It, it's like, you know, you, you, you like a person irrespective of what their flaws are, right? So this Seiko is that, that watch for me. You know? It's the variant, wow. though, isn't it, that annoyed people? Because it's the timing variance on the movement, isn't it? It's something ridiculous. Like, it doesn't matter. I, I've heard, uh, but they yeah, should have I mean, more pride in what they're doing, though. That's the problem. They, these high-end they, movements, they should say, look, we can get these to, to you know, plus or minus two or three seconds. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't have any cost themselves, do they? Or like a, a No, they move. don't. Uh, unfortunately, they don't. And that is something which they should definitely improve. Yeah. Bring it to like plus six, minus four seconds, whatever it is, at least close to cask. But it does have a wide variance, uh, plus 15, minus 10 for the 6L37. Kind of the same uh, variance measurement as the 8L35, mm-hmm. which is not ideal. Uh, but I've had five or six of these 6L35s over the years. All of them have done cask, plus two, plus three. Again, I'm not saying that you, you will be that lucky. But it's a gamble you have to take with Seiko. As I said, it has flaws. Are you willing to accept the flaws because the watch holistically speaks to you more than a Tudor or, or a comparable Doxa Carbon, you know? So, or a Zen U50 or the Zen Bronze, which, uh, what's it called, T50? So yeah. that that's where it is. It's, it's either you like the design and you know it's historically accurate, it's a re- re-release, so definitely based off the people who got the SLA 017 from 2017. But that's what Seiko is. Don't keep expectations from them. They are bound to disappoint you. It's a, it's whether you're willing to take the disappointment and move on in life. Yeah. Very philosophical, uh, Deb. Um, I like it. I like the watch. I do. Um. A little too rich for my blood, but but uh, I like it. Wolfie, what do you think? Do you like it? You're like a big Seiko it. diver guy now, right? You got a couple Seiko. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but I, I that looks good. It's too small, but yeah, and too expensive, but very good looking. Yeah. Uh, Kevin says all my Seikos keep great time. Uh, Colin says what a ringing endorsement that was, uh, for sure, uh, totally. Okay, uh, before we keep we we'll continue on going here, I'm gonna. I'm going to 
set up the second giveaway here. Um, let's go. On. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not it. Um, Streamyard. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it right one of these days, guys. Um, Is it the orange one, Bobby? Is it the orange NASA one? Oh 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 oh. Maybe no, maybe no. maybe. No. maybe. Maybe. Yeah, no, no. I'm going to show it to you in a second. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Um, yeah, let's go full screen. I'm going to go full screen on it. Okay. Um, so, y'all, I've been doing... There it is. The the yellow, the orange uh, NASA uh, with the American flag. America, right? America. Uh, celebrating, you know, July 4th this past week. I'm giving this away. I typically do monthly giveaways uh, on my channel. I'm going to start doing them live, right? Uh, because most of my, um, I, I barely do videos anymore. Don't really have much the time to do them because you know life is happening, um, and so and the good stuff in life. So, uh, but I love doing these streams, and I figure what a better way just to do it because you guys are really the true uh, 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 fans or subscribers or or uh, uh, you know um, what, what's the word I'm looking here for? Uh, true. Anyway. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so excited about getting, doing this giveaway. So what we're going to do here, uh, how you enter, we're going to do hashtag um, ju uh, July giveaway. All right. Um, and so all you guys need to do is when I start collecting comments here is type in hashtag July giveaway in the comments here on the live stream. And that's how you enter. So please Type in hashtag July giveaway for your chance to win one of these great uh, G-Shocks. Yeah, it's, okay. a great, it's a great one. That They're hard to find those. They're rare because um, they sold out almost straight away. And it's, it's orange because it's color coded. They color coded it to the the NASA uniform, the, the astronaut's uniform. That's why it's uh, that color. They actually color matched it. It's the same sort of Pantone color. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a cool little piece. I was like thinking, man, I I, I probably should keep this for myself, man. The box <laughs> you know, of the tin is amazing as well. You should show the tin is awesome. Yeah, the tin the tin is pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Um, just a really cool watch, and I love doing these giveaways. Uh, you guys are the dedicated supporters that come out to um, watch these streams two or three times a week. So why not? Um, why not support? Why not? Why not uh, show my thanks to the support? Anyway, hey Wolfie, uh, while we're waiting for uh, the entries to come in, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, somebody somebody's trying to correct me, saying they color coded it to the rocket top. They didn't. It's the it was the uniforms. So but anyway. Oh, okay. Um, so so Wolfie, um, what's been? Uh, what are you targeting this time in in Vegas? Um, nothing scheduled. Nothing. <laughs> nothing scheduled. <laughs> Nothing scheduled. Hey, I heard you're gonna have a visitor soon. Yeah, yeah, got some visitors coming. Yeah, yeah. Visitors are scheduled, but uh, all all watches that we'll see are totally unscheduled. Okay, but so so you and the visitors, right? And mm -hmm. and and the visitors, some of them are here mm -hmm. present. Um, you guys are gonna do a little watch shopping, right? I mean, you're gonna. Window Nothing shop. Watch spotting for me. No shopping. Oh, oh, okay. So I didn't want to give it away, but Div is also going to, to Vegas um, mm -hmm. to hang out with Wolfie and I think uh, a couple of our other friends who are in the chat. Little, seriously, Wolfie. I mean, I know, I know you're saying that you're not going to be buying anything or anything is scheduled. Wh give us, give us a percentage that at least one of you guys are are gonna are gonna feed each other, right? And 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 somebody's going to buy a watch. Well, I mean, you know, it's all unscheduled, but of course it can be moved to scheduled within a second if you want to. So yeah. There is a yeah, yeah. Chat. What I do you guys think? Price, what... hmm. It's not high. No. Oh, really? I so, don't you think got... so. so between okay. the, there's going to be four of you, right? There's going to be you, Dib, and two other four, guys, right? Two, three, four, five. Between the five of you guys. You're telling me that none six. of you we have are six. Be... six. Six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's right. Six. Are you telling me that none of you guys? Well, there could are... always be a, a feeding frenzy, right? There could be a situation where. Well, that's what I'm saying. 
it, it can happen. I'm just saying, you know, D Dip is cheap. He'll want the 30% off. You know, that's unlikely in Vegas. See, I'm out. I, I, I didn't say out. It's, you know, can be scheduled within, within the blink of an eye. I'm just saying it's unlikely. Okay, Sam. I know. I know. You, you know. You you don't know Dib and Wolfie that well, except for you know Dib here on the um, on the uh, on the streams. But but judging from what you've known of Dib right now, like an outsider looking in, like do you do you believe him? Do you think that he's gonna go hang out with five other watch nerds and not come away with uh, leaving Vegas without a watch? Yeah, I mean, it's so intoxicating. Isn't it? I bought Black Bay 58 on a whim in Vegas, and I don't normally buy watches on a whim, a whim like that. It's so intoxicating, isn't it? I mean, that that horror lover of Geo or whatever it is in the Venetian, they'll probably they'll do you a deal on a Grand Seiko if you ask. Um, they do, well, but it's not going to be enough for dip. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were, I bought a Black Bay 58 from there. I, they, they gave me a Tudor candle. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they've got great grand take. I, I bet you could you could get a decent a decent a decent whack off uh, of the grand Seiko in uh, hor horologio. I'm not saying it right, but it's there. It's Hor horologio, yeah, 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 horologio, yeah. The great guy, yeah. uh, Sam. We are me sure. Wolfie and I are both customers of horologio. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wait. So wait. So so Tudor makes candles. Like, is it? It's part of their swag. Yeah, well, yeah. So they uh, and water uh, water bottles as well. Um, well, yeah, okay. I've seen they, that yeah, before. They, it was funny because I actually put it on eBay trying to think could I could sell it, but nobody. I don't think even anybody knew what to search for it, so I ended up burning it. And it was quite it was quite a nice candle actually. It was quite a big, uh, you know. Quite, so they yeah uh, they gave me gave me with my uh, black bag fifty eight. Well, that that's that's awesome. Uh, I I bought um a tutor from uh, from a uh, ad and. They sent me one glove, just like one, like you know, like glove, not not two, just just one of those, like you know, like handling gloves. So that's the most swag I've gotten from 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 an AD from a watch I bought. I've got a pair of uh, Jaeger La Culture watch uh, gloves. That <laughs> at least you got a pair. At least you got a pair. Uh, Chaz is saying over under one and a half watches purchased in Vegas. I'm taking the over. Wow. So Chaz thinks two, at least two watches, will be bought. On and that Vegas trip, um, Dib is never. You know, it's either none or <laughs> four plus. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's pretty. So you're saying that there's a is there a possibility of a group watch? You think? No, no. I mean, I'm I'm thinking either we'll buy nothing or. There will be a situation where people get fired up, you know, good stuff is available, and then it'll be four plus. Did you get some bath bombs as well, Sam? <laughs> so you think Tudor has this nice little candle and, and soap kind of like, uh, so you take a nice little like bath with your Tudor? Is that what you're saying, Kevin? <laughs> uh Chez, I know this crew. Okay. Uh, I, I got a – Chris is saying he got a Tudor book and hat. Okay. Hats are good. Um, none or six is the way, uh, Kevin S. is saying. Um, Wolfie calling it. Feeding frenzy will happen. Uh, Wilson, who is another – I think another participant, says hashtag no Vegas watch bot. Whatever, Wilson. You're, 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 you and Wolfie are going to have a couple cigars. And, and have a couple of drinks, and you guys are going to be buying the same watch again. Uh, you're buying. Yep, that's right. Um, okay. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to run this giveaway. Now, remember, once you – if you win, my um, – you can contact me through Instagram. Uh, my uh, link to my Instagram account is in the description below. Um, and, and look, I'm going to, I'm going to do these monthly giveaways here. I, um, I think every Friday, I mean, I got so many of these things. I got so many, I got like hundreds and hundreds of like NATO straps that, that have been donated 
uh, to the channel over the years and, and, and other straps too, uh, but mostly NATOs. So I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to be giving away like three or five or, or whatever every, every Friday until probably for the rest of the year. I seriously have that many that I just need to like get out there because they're, they're collecting, uh, uh, I'm collecting boxes of NATOs and, and Mrs. Legs wants them out of here. So just come, come back every week, subscribe, Hit that notification so you know when I'm on, and uh, we'll do some giveaways here. Uh, watch every month. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll surprise you guys and, and give away a, a second watch in a month. We'll see how about that, how that goes. Okay, 46 entries. We're gonna draw it now, and good luck. And the winner is do, do. Guillaume Barnaby. Hey, he won. A watch uh, recently too, actually, uh, uh, Guillaume. Uh, congratulations! Uh, you've won another watch from Bobby Legs. I think you won like last month. So uh, congratulations, man! I mean, like that's how uh, that's how it happens, right? Um, excellent! It's an excellent, excellent watch. Um, great G shocks. I have I have a good amount of G shocks here. Um, so um, yeah, yeah. Good, uh, congratulations against Guillaume. Uh, yeah, you are so lucky with me. You're right. <laughs> sweet. Uh, good stuff. Just uh, get in touch with me. I, I probably have your, I probably, you know what? I probably already have your address saved in an email anyway. You know, uh, anyway, um, Sam, thank you so much for, for this evening and, and giving us an insight on how that trip was. I really, really appreciate it. It's, uh, it was fun. I, I love when people travel and, uh, especially to somewhere where I've never been to before. I kind of feel like I live vicariously. Uh, through those photos and and through some of the chats that that have been a part of in the last couple of weeks with you uh, in regards to Japan, so thanks thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for letting me on. And if uh, if um, while uh, while you while you're waiting to send that watch, if you want to see a full review of it, that might be one of my channel. <coughs> uh, oh yeah, reviews. absolutely, absolutely. And I, and I'll put a link to Sam's uh, channel in the comments of uh, in the description. I, I think I forgot to put it, Sam, but I'll, I'll put it in there. And if you guys want to check out his review, he's got a review because uh, I'm not doing a review on it. So, uh, Dib Wolfie, uh, how, when are you, next week? When, when is it, uh, Dib? When are you going to Vegas? Uh, on Thursday. Well, here, here's the thing. So, I would have probably bought a watch if I went. Uh, I mean, uh, next week, but I got the golden tuna. I have five Seikos coming in. Now two of them are for friends. I have the Speed Timer, the Seiko Snoopy, and this new SJE093. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. Uh, so three Seikos yes. uh, for your pleasure. They're not, they will not be moved on immediately. No. Okay, let me check something. But there was a statement. Yeah, there was there was a statement that I won't buy anything, but I made the statement yeah. of not buying anything before that. No, like, sorry, I, I placed orders on the three Seikos before that. No, no, I don't yes. think so. There were yeah, two yeah. Seikos. I, I did. Two I, Seikos. I was, I was literally talking to Bobby and Chaz when I placed yeah. the order. On no, those two no, I think there were two Seikos scheduled. One yeah. additional Seiko has been scheduled in the meanwhile. Yeah, that, that won't so, come before September, so I'm good. I said I won't buy anything till September. <laughs> I haven't paid a single dollar to my AD. So, you know, uh, as long as the watch doesn't come before September, I'm good. I will have kept my word. No, 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 no. I think you're full of shit. The statement was total bogus. No, the statement false statement. statement. False statement. <laughs> I mean, Wolf is probably going to win. I, I don't have the upper body yeah. strength. So. I, can't, I can't fight the statement, unfortunately. I thought I saved it. I have proof somewhere. Kevin, uh, thank you for clarifying, Wolfie, and making Div go on the record. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, it was before a scheduled, non scheduled system. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, that, that's what it was. Hold him accountable. Uh, oh, step aside, Dib. The mm -hmm. new favorite in Detroit Spartan's eyes is Wolfie. Anyway, 
I can't wait to hear uh, witness uh, or whatever some of the shenanigans that are going to go on next week because there will be some shenanigans. I am, I know for sure there will be with a crew of guys, you guys. But anyway, um, hopefully we could do something live. That'd be great. That'd be great. I'm just putting it out there. Anyway, Sam, again, thank you so much. Dib, Wolfie, thank you so much for uh, jumping in and bearing with me, figuring out this giveaway system. I, I appreciate your patience, you guys, as well as you in the chat. Congratulations to the winners of the NATOs and the um, G-Shock. More NATOs, more free NATOs every Friday. NATO Friday, that's what we're going to call it. Sure, why not? And then every once in a while, maybe... Maybe I'll give away a watch. Not every month. Maybe maybe I'll do it twice a month. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, have a good one, guys. And uh, see you on Sunday for Watch Soup. Also, uh, check out Sam's channel. And he does some live streams. I think he does one Sunday at 4.30, right? Uh, yeah. Eastern time? Eastern. Okay. Excellent. Good night, guys. Take care. Yep.